All right. Eric Dawson, uh, you've been a casting director for a long time, and uh, you've worked on American Horror Story, most recently on Freak Show. Where did you find all those freaks? <laughs> you know, that was an unusual task, I have to say, and something I've never really done in casting where, uh, you know, Ryan came to me probably six months before the season began and, you know, explained what the season was going to be about. And he sort of wanted to keep it on the on the down low, what we were looking for and stuff. And so it was a lot of surfing, you know, online, sort of Googling different sorts of, you know, physical disorders and syndromes and things like that. You know, he, he said to me early on that, um, that he didn't want sword swallowers and contortionists and, and stuff like that. So it, it was a lot of online searching, a lot of a lot of dead ends. But, uh, and then we ended up with, with great people at the end. But it was, it was an interesting casting challenge. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, you've been there from the very beginning on this show. Is that correct? Yeah, I've worked since with Ryan for 15 years. I started with him on Popular, and then I did Nip Tuck, and we did Glee in the office, and then we've done all the American Horror Stories. Mm -hmm. So what is that collaboration like at this point? I mean, I guess he more or less trust your instincts or, you know. Well, he has, what, he has like, the most incredible casting eye of anybody I've ever met. And so uh, there is a lot of trust and, and he's in the fortunate position that most television shows, there's a million cooks. Uh, there's the producers, the directors, the writers, the studio, the network. I mean, there's so, there's so many people. When you work for Ryan, it's sort of Ryan. And, and so it's really nice. It's a very streamlined, uh, situation. I mean, obviously there's Brad and Dante and, and the directors well, but but Ryan really is front and center and the network really trusts him and the studio really trusts him and he has a vision that's unbelievable and and uh, so it's, it, it has become streamlined and, and I do feel there's a lot of trust there and um, we've, we've done it a long time. I know actors he loves. I know the types of actors. He, he's somebody who some producers want to see the world Ryan doesn't want to see the world. He wants me to see the world. And then he wants me to show him a few people, which is, which is really, uh, really nice. Mm -hmm. It's a great relationship. Right. So what do you look for in somebody? Uh, you know, aside from, of course, uh, maybe experience or a headshot, um, you know, what do you look for in people when you're casting? You know, like on this show, there's, you know, there's obviously several different you know, Freak Show, you know, we had our, our sort of celebrity name actors, which is one thing. And then we had our sort of, you know, the, the guest star actors who were just wonderful uh, actors with great training and different qualities. And then we and then we had our troupe of actors within the Freak Show. Um, so we were sort of doing three things simultaneously on this show. Um, but yeah, it, it's interesting. I mean, I've been doing this for 25 years or something. And everybody's always asking, what is it you're looking for? And, and you always are looking for that special quality, that thing that, makes you want to watch somebody that, uh, you know, it's, it's the, the, the great face or the great character or the beauty or the, you know, with the, with the instrument to, to support it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been wrong? And you don't have to get into specific. Uh, I think, yeah, you know, you, 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 um, I would never want to play it safe every day. I mean, we've cast thousands of hours of television and over a hundred pilots. And, and there's certainly people that you take chances on that maybe don't pan out quite as well, or people that you believe really are going to be stars. And for whatever reason, their paths haven't taken them down, down that path. Um, but, uh, but, I, but, but you start to get a real sense of somebody's quality and if, if people will be attracted to that. And, and it's also, you know, the whole thing of, of, of matching that person with the right role. You know, there's a lot of wonderful actors who have been miscast and aren't able to show their, their, two, their true colors, so, you know. And it's particularly interesting with something like American Horror Story where, you know, every season these same actors are playing different roles. Um, you know, was that part of the idea from the beginning? Were you looking for people who you knew could be that versatile? Um, well, I'm assuming you were. Um. <laughs> what it's really showed is that, is that, you know, especially like Ryan doesn't write the people that we have from year to year. They're always almost playing the opposite of what they played the year before. And I think that's so refreshing because I think that this industry starts seeing people in a certain way. And they, these people play this role or these people play that role. And he's really turned that, you know, upside down and basically said, we're going to go from both ends of the spectrum and, and show you the range when you have somebody as talented as, 
the Kathy Bates's and the Jessica Langs and the Dennis O'Hare's and Evan Peters and and this whole troupe of you know the Lily Rabes. Um, you know, it's it's like we have this acting ensemble that's one of the best things I think ever to be on television. Mm-hmm. Right. I want to go back to what we were talking about at the beginning, where you were looking for these specific types of people, because I'm always curious if, you know, you know, is it difficult finding people who number one match a physical characteristic that you're looking for, but are also good actors, you know, and, you know, in a situation where maybe one is more of the other, where, how do you do it? Well, you know, like I said, I think this year was really a, a different, a special years that we, you know, we had our core, a lot of our core actors who had prosthetics, you know, Sarah Paulson with her, her two heads or Evan Peters with his claws. And we knew we had to round that out with, with people, with real, real people who had physical um, differences. And, and so obviously you're going to be going into a group of people who have acted less. Um, we're super lucky with Matt Frazier, who, you know, played Paul, the Se- illustrated seal boy. Um, because he's, he's a wonderful actor. Um, I don't think it ever been on, in fact, I know it never been on television, but it done a lot of theater in, in London and, and in New York, New York as well. And a lot of what Ryan was looking for in this is he was open, is he was like, find me the people and then we'll write the roles. And, you know, like, um, and so Matt was one of those people that, that the role didn't exist for somebody who had deformed arms. It was actually written as a illustrated seal man. Um, and so when we found Matt, uh, you know, we adjusted it to, to take advantage of what he, what he brought to the table. You know, Matt's only requested, it's so funny because it was originally written as that his whole, his whole face was tattooed. And Matt was like, this is such a great opportunity. He goes, I'll do whatever you want, but leave my face, leave my face. <laughs> they, they tattooed him up to his neck. And then they actually worked that into the storyline, which I thought was fantastic about how he didn't, that he, you know, he said, I'm a handsome, I'm a handsome man. And at the end of the day, you know, I couldn't do my face. And so what he brought to it um, uh, actually found itself in the story, you know, in, in the same way that, you know, Franny Conroy, you know, uh, Franny Conroy, um, in the first season uh, in House, you know, she has her eye that is, it doesn't track well because she got something stuck in it. And all of a sudden, you know, she, we use that in the story as well. It's never meant, you know, it's never written that way. But all of a sudden, you know, Jessica Lange shoots her in the eye and it becomes part of the story. So that's what's great about Ryan is that he looks at his actors, figures out how to write to the best of their abilities, and then takes advantage of, of, of everything he has, and, you know, available. Right. You've been doing this for 25 years, you said, right? Yeah. Uh, does it still excite you after all this time? Do you still find things about it that are new and interesting? Absolutely. I mean, you know what, I, I'm, I'm surrounded every day by people, young actors who have such passion, casting associates, casting assistants who have such passion. It, you know, I was talking last night to one of the heads of casting uh, at Paramount and who used to work here, and we were just reminiscing about everything we've gone through. And it really is, you, you come into work every day and, and people are sitting in your waiting room who are living their dreams. And so it's, it's, it's so contagious and can be exhausting at times because you have to get back to that energy, you know, and and when you sit and see people all day long, you feel completely drained at the end of the day because you want to be a hundred percent there for them. And, uh, but it's, you're certainly not doing the same thing every day. I mean, I do many different types of shows and stuff and, and even horror story from year to year, like hotel will be much different than freak show. And, um, so no, it's, it's what gets, it's what gets me out of bed in the morning. And it's, and it's really, it's, you just change people's lives. I mean, I know like Ruth Siggins, who plays Legless Susie in our, in our um, freak show. Obviously, she wasn't an actress. She had a life in Colorado mm-hmm. and her kids. And, you know, we uprooted her and sent her to New Orleans for six months. She brought her kids with her, and it was a life-changing event for her. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to talk with me, and congratulations on your work on American Horror Story Freak Show. Thank you very much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye now.